Hello, hello. My name is Callista and welcome back to Dragon Age Inquisition. In the last episode, we completed in hushed whispers. We now have the mages ready and waiting to aid us with closing the breach. However, before we go and do that, I think it's only fair that we speak with everyone, make sure everyone's doing all right. Um, you know, first things first, let's get our advisors doing some stuff. I'm not sure if we'll have any new war table missions, but it's always good to check. Okay, oh, we do have new stuff. Thank you for the money. And improved stability. We have sent our soldiers to the most troubled areas. We've received numerous letters of gratitude from people in Ferelden and Orlay. We are proving that trust in the Inquisition will be rewarded. Colin. Very nice. Oh, sh an ally from Stark Cave. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and the University of Orlais and Truth or Dare Lake Celestine. Ooh. Okay, let me find my notes. War table. <laughs> and that was answer a request. I do not have that one on my list, huh? That's odd. Okay. Ye okay. Oh. Do I not have the University of Olay? Oh no, I do. Oh, that's a bugger. That's a bugger. I want the same person for... For each one, drat. Um, you know what? Let's get started on this one. The University of Orlay, to the leaders of the Inquisition. The death of so many good souls at the Temple of Sacred Ashes is a tragedy, compounded by the frenzy of posturing that has taken place in the race for Divine Justinia's successor which all too frequently uses the University of Olay as a scapegoat for ills, perceived or real. Considering your recent cowing of these clerics, the University is hoping you might see your way to protecting us from their rhetoric. Such a partnership could be beneficial for us both. We have research, magical as well as mundane, that we'd be pleased to share in exchange for aid in these trying times. Yours with hope, Chancellor Jürgen Hollis, University of Olay. Colin says, a few soldiers stationed at the university, along with some mercenaries, should be enough of a demonstration of support to deter Chantry attacks. Liliana says, we could arm the university with what they like best, information. Give them ammunition against anyone who speaks against them. The attacks will cease. And Josephine says, a bit of diplomacy to tell the clerics where their attacks are unwelcome should be enough, provided it is done delicately. Provided it is done delicately. And again, we're, we're dealing with the chantry here. I say send our diplomat. At your service. Oh, okay, no, good stuff. And, uh, Colin, you can make me some All money. Right. Thank you. Okay, good stuff. I will just warn you, I don't intend on moving the main plot along for at least a while. There are certain things I would like to do in the Hinterlands and, you know, I I do have a couple of bits and pieces in the Fallow Mire and I'd, I'd like to complete them before I even consider closing the breach. Uh, Mother Giselle. I understand you were instrumental in garnering the assistance of the rebel mages. It is well done. And I pray this Inquisition fares better than the Chantry in its handling of magic. We'll do our best. You disagree with the Chantry. The Chantry did terribly. No, we're gonna... We're gonna try, at the very least. We will try. In some ways, 
Andraste had the simpler task. Magic should serve man, and not rule over him. That tells us what should be, but it does not tell us how to get there. So many times the methods of men have undone the spirit of their goals. Once you have sealed the breach, we shall see whether this Inquisition is truer to the Chantry, or its own name. Why do we have to be true to the Chantry? Why can't we be our own thing? How are the people doing after what happened at the Conclave? They are scared, of course. Many have lost homes or loved ones. I doubt many will sleep well until you have sealed the breach. I have offered what help I can. The rest is for the Inquisition. What more do you wish to know? Hmm. Ooh. I, I can't remember which of these we've asked, if any. So, um, yeah, how are the people at Haven? How are the villagers in Haven doing? You did well to gain the mages to your cause. The people have hope that the breach may be sealed. Some of them are returning to the lives they fled. Others are starting fresh. In either case, they no longer believe the world as they know it is ending. Good stuff. What are you doing to help these people? My sisters and I have been tending to the injured, as best we are able. Some refugees come with food, while others arrive empty-handed. I have helped ensure that all have enough to eat. Beyond that, many simply wish the familiar comfort of the chant of light. It is little enough work to offer some comfort to those in pain. And how about elsewhere? Do you have information on people elsewhere? The refugees in the hinterlands are desperate. Without help, starvation or war will claim many lives. Villagers in Crestwood are besieged by their own dead. They have sent word begging for assistance. People are vanishing in the hills of Empress de Lyon. It may be demons or something worse, but they are terrified. More than that, I cannot say. It is a chaotic time for all in Olay and Ferelden. Mm, that it is. Farewell. Make her go with you. Uh, thank you, madam. Now that Vivienne... Vivienne, what are you going to say to me? If Fiona and her malcontents are joining us as allies, we need to be prepared. Abominations are inevitable. Cullen doesn't have enough Templars to handle incidents. Some of the rank and file need to be trained. We can control the mages. Good idea. Keep them hidden. Absolutely not. I, <laughs> I don't think Ionor wants to control the mages. That's not the point of this. Like, they should be free to make their own decisions. However, again, Templars are needed. I don't think she'd be so disrespectful to be like, oh, keep them hidden. Like, let's keep this hush hush and not, you know, not know we have any Templars. However, as, as Vivian says, abominations will happen. Magic is dangerous. And Templars do have their place. Again, they shouldn't be jailers, but they do have their place. The last thing we need are abominations running amok. I knew you would have a proper grasp of the situation. I'll have a word with Cullen. We are reliant on his people, absolutely. There has never been a greater threat to mages than the Breach. Until it is closed, no one is safe. I'm not as confident in them. Do you pose a risk? You don't trust mages. Ooh. Why would why would Ionor not be confident in them? Like I'd Yeah, what they <laughs> They did something rather dodgy in Redcliffe, but again, that really wasn't them. That was Alexius. They made the mistake of agreeing to the alliance with him, but they, they had no way of knowing that time magic was involved. So, meh. Um, ooh. Oh, I could go for either. 
I, I don't think Ayanor would be so blunt as to say, do you pose a risk? Also, she does and she doesn't. Does Ayanor pose a risk? She's got a big ass sword on her back. So, yes, she does pose a risk. However, at the same time, Ayanor isn't inclined to draw that sword and attack innocence. Vivienne is a mage. She has no desire to attack innocence, but if she becomes possessed by a demon, then she might. Like, yeah, I'm. I think it's very obvious that Vivienne doesn't trust the mages. I know. I know does trust them, but again, magic is dangerous. Just like a weapon is dangerous. She's not going to judge someone. Just like she would hope that someone wouldn't judge her for carrying around a big-ass sword. However, she'd understand why someone would be wary of her. You know, I, I have a big-ass sword. You don't know me. Like, I could be a psychopath for all you know. It. I think it is interesting, though. Like, you are a mage, yet you put so little faith in them. Why is that? You have a low opinion of your fellow mages. It's not so much an opinion as grasping the obvious. Magic is dangerous, just as fire is dangerous. Anyone who forgets this truth gets burned. That's just Chantry rhetoric. Dalish don't have Templars. Uh, and what... <laughs> what happens when a Dalish mage becomes an abomination, hmm? The clan has to hunt them down. The clan is basically the Templars. Tavinta doesn't think so. Templars aren't the solution. I agree. <laughs> I'm drawn to I agree with you. Because magic is dangerous. You shouldn't punish mages. But magic is dangerous. Just like Aenor's sword is dangerous. You're preaching to the choir, Vivian. Tell me something. As you will no doubt have a hand in shaping it. What future do you see for mages? Okay, mages should be free. We need mages in the Chantry. We need the circles back. Yes! <laughs> I hate how these are opposed. She wants the circles back because, again, they should be schools, though. They should be schools, not prisons. The circle has to be restored if we want to keep the peace. That's comforting to hear, but you'll find opposition to the idea even among friends. It's something to consider, my dear. Mm, indeed. Indeed. How may I help you? Okay. Oh. What are your thoughts about the others in the Inquisition? What exactly is Varric's role in the Inquisition? Aside from irritating Cassandra. We're now friendly enough to gossip! Excellent! Way! <laughs> Nice. Uh, pardon me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Thank you. Thank you. I'm sorry. They were like, no, you will not interrupt our conversation. Alright. Okay, let's... Let's start... Liliana, there you are. Your open support for the mages likely earned you enemies. Our agents will monitor the situation. If the most opposed can be identified... We may still turn this to our advantage. Hmm. No killing. Always looking to gain. I'm not afraid. Yeah, again. Please don't start killing people in my name. That's... You're not planning assassinations, are you? I was planning to unleash Josephine on them. She kills with kindness. Regardless, I applaud you for the courage to stand up for the mages. There it is. I watched you die for me. I get, I think, what future Liliana did, it was so heroic. Same with Varric and Solus. I think Ionor has this, I'd call it like a newfound appreciation for the pair of them. Like, they died so that she could get back to the past. They sacrificed themselves. And here's, like... I think Cassandra, Varric, and Solus, Ionor would consider them like her inner circle just because she's been traveling with them for the longest. However, 
she really hasn't spent that much time with them. And she had been gone for a year in this timeline. They had no reason to sacrifice themselves. But they did it. They did it for the good of the world. And I think Ionor has so much respect for Varric and Solus and Liliana right now. In Redcliffe, you sacrificed yourself so that I could return here. Of course I did. One small life in exchange for a second chance at history. I always loved a bargain. Yeah, it, it was incredibly noble. It was still a sacrifice and still noble. And I would do it again. Oh. Uh, yeah, that's... This is again just asking, were you and Justinia fucking... No, no, we're not going to ask that. Anything I should know? Altegan has returned to Redcliffe Castle and resumed his duties as Lord. The people are returning, slowly but surely. Unfortunately, our show of support for the mages has angered many. Hey, get in there, Tegan. <laughs> you do you, bud. Anything I should know? I've nothing to report at the moment. Okay, good stuff. I'll leave you to your work. Alrighty then. Pardon me. Oh, and man of the hour over here, Varric. Varric, buddy. The Mage Rebellion joins the Inquisition. I've got to admit that's a twist I didn't see coming. One thing you saw in the future worries me. I mean, it was all bad. But Red Lyrium and Ferelden infecting people and growing out of them, that's bad. Finding more of it really punches a hole in my... Red Lyrium at the temple was a coincidence theory. Do you have any idea how fast it spreads? How long does it take for Red Lyrium to grow? How fast can it spread? It took years to infect people in Kirkwall, but no one there was actually ingesting the stuff. This Elder One managed to take the worst thing I can think of and make it worse. That's an accomplishment. Mm. Uh, don't worry, let's keep hoping. We need to eliminate it. Uh, I'm, I'm drawn to this. Uh, we should 100% be worrying. That was fucked. Um, I, I don't really know what this is in reference to. L like, let's keep hoping that it was a fluke. Maybe. But like, no, that, that thing was growing out of people. That stuff was growing out of people. It was weird. Like, we need to get rid of it. We can't leave a single piece of that lyrium out in the wild. I'm with you on that. I've got people trying to find out where the red stuff came from. I think maybe we should make that a priority. But th that's enough doom and gloom. You just won a big victory for the Inquisition. What are you going to do to celebrate? Plan for what's next. Catch my breath. Have a party, anything but celebrate. Ooh, <laughs> she needs a minute. She needs a hot minute. I was planning to put my feet up, maybe grab a nap. You? Whatever I do, it'll be as far from Cassandra as I can get. Things should be calm around here for at least the next hour. Take a moment to enjoy it. If the world's about to end, I'm sure the Seeker will let us know. I... Ionor's just like, I could really do with a nap. And <laughs> Jesus Christ, I saw so much. I saw so much. And no one remembers except for Dorian. Like, uh. Need something? Okay. Um. I feel like we've asked all of these, but just in case. I want to know more about Red Lyrium. I'll tell you what I can. Okay. We've asked everything about that. I think that's enough on Red Lyrium. Yeah, not really my favorite subject. Need something? Uh, who? I read your tale of the champion, and I have a few questions. That's a pretty common reaction. Go ahead. Apparently not. Carry on. And... Need something? What about you? Can I ask you something, Varric? You want to talk about me? I'm flattered. Also inclined toward extravagant lies. Oh, hey, nice. Okay, um, let's, let's go round. Whereabouts are you from? Are you from Ferelden, Olay? Free marches, born and raised in Kirkwall. And despite whatever you've heard, no, Kirkwall's not that bad. Mate. 
Mate, Kirkwall's a shit show. Do not downplay that, sir. What about, what do you do? I'm not clear on your line of work. You're a merchant? I'm a businessman. My family has a seat in the Dwarven Merchants Guild. Merchants buy and sell goods. Businessmen buy and sell stores. In my spare time, I manage a spy network, and occasionally, I write books. <laughs> spy network. That was Hawk. That was Hawk. If you've run a spy network, why is Leliana our spy master? To be honest with you, she's just a better spy master. The truly great ones can keep their distance. They don't get attached to their people. Me, I always wind up babysitting my informants and... Worrying about their families. We're in better hands with her. He's too good a guy. Farrick's great. Farrick has a heart of gold. You're an author. What kind of books have you written? I've tried my hands at a few genres. My crime serials are my most popular. Hard in Hightown. Guards breaking the rules to get things done. The Tale of the Champion is the most famous thing I've written. Or infamous, maybe. I started a romance serial once, Swords and Shields, but to be honest, I don't have a knack for romances. Most of my stories end in tragedy. Probably that says something unfortunate about me personally. I'm assuming that maybe Ainur had only ever heard of um, The Tale of the Champion. You know, she didn't realize that Varric had written other stuff besides that. What sort of shops do you own? Actually, we don't own shops. That was just an example. Mostly we invest in money lenders. Auction houses, a few mercenary companies, a couple of smithies. I think we own half a beet plantation in Ravain somewhere. Most of that's my brother's doing. Bartrand had business sense. Not much tact, but loads of business sense. Hmm. And how do you know Cassandra? How do you and Cassandra know each other? You heard about the Kirkwall Tantry being destroyed? The guy responsible used to be a friend of mine. The Seeker had questions about that. And I had answers. I love this question because here's the thing. There are about... I want to say there are about ten different options that Varric can answer with. And it's randomised. You don't know which one you're going to get. So uh, let's... What's, what's Bianca's backstory this time around, Varric? Where did you get that crossbow? I've never seen one like it. Bianca? She's one of a kind. Funny story. I bought a salvaged ship and found her locked in a dragon bone reinforced chest in the hold. I broke three dozen lockpicks and blunted nine saws opening that trunk, but it was worth it. Ah. Very interesting. And uh, why, why Bianca, of all names? Who is she named for? I can't tell you. Why not? And the reason for that is? Complicated. It's the one story I'll never tell. We just have to leave it at that. He said something very similar to Meryl in Banter in Dragon Age 2. Thanks, Varric. No problem. You do you, bud. You do you. Oh, I need... Can someone please take my shit? Here, Thank you. Tell Mother Giselle that this is as much as I can spare. Makeup, bless you. He had better. <laughs> okay, let's uh sell the valuables, please. Just take them. Um we also don't need these longbows. I I know I can just sell these. And that. That. I want to say that both both Cassandra and Blackpool have like 14 armor shield so that can go mm, I want to remove the grip but there's no point to it you can go okay there we go that's ooh staff of stasis mm. and We can, oh my god. Artin could be the mustin, mustin, mustard man. Did I call you Artin? Iron or shit. <laughs> my brain. 
I'm dehydrated. I think I'm dehydrated. I think that's the problem. Unfortunately, I have ran out of my peach iced tea. Um, I know could be the mustard man. Oh, I'm tempted. I'm tempted. We'll, we'll leave it, though. Um, you can go. Mm, we'll have a look at these. Okay, but that, that is much better. Okie doke, who are we going to speak to next? Um, well... You've heard nothing of this elder one before. In any of your investigations? Nothing. I'm sorry. No, it's taken all of us by surprise. We must... I don't know. He compromised the rebel mages, and is likely responsible for the disappearance of the Templars. And we know nothing about him. We will soon enough. Mm. Charter... Charter is very determined. She's like, I don't know who this son of a bitch is, but I'm gonna get him. You go, girl. Do it. Again, the game tricks me. How dare. Much offence. Charter, if you're free later, would you like to have a drink at the tavern? Are you courting a knife here, Scout Pelaine? No, no, I... I don't know. I used to drink with the soldiers. But I can't talk with them anymore. Not really. You've seen enough pieces to have some idea of the size of the game we're playing. Yes, and I'm sorry. I just, you understand. This elder one. There's no one I can talk to. I'll be in the tavern this evening. Perhaps you could buy me a drink. Make sure you take a bath first. Oh, Oh, that's cute. But Charter, you have a girlfriend. M maybe she doesn't have a girlfriend at this point in the timeline. I know. She I, she's dating Veya. Is she called Veya the, um... Oh, God, in the comics. The elven woman with black hair and she hangs around with... Sir... What's his face? I don't know any of the names. I think it's Veya, though. Yeah, the, they end up dating, so I'm like... I, what, what would your girlfriend say about all that? Maybe she's cool with it. Maybe they have an understanding. I don't know. Oh, God, we have more equipment. We have more equipment now. Oh, you know what? I'm a treat myself. I'm a treat myself. Krem, Krem, speak to me. Nice work at Redcliffe. I could help the mages learn to work with Inquisition soldiers if you like. <clears throat> not that the chief has any apostates in the group. Of course not. Of course he doesn't. Um. Okay. Okay. Let's. Uh. Let's go with this one. Can you think of any other tasks suitable for the judges? The Templars have holed up in Theron Falridal. No idea what's happening inside. I could have some of the boys poke around. If nothing else, we'd get a better look at the land. Thank you kindly. Can we talk about the bull's charges? Certainly. What can I tell you? Well, tell me of, an of another interesting job. Have you had any other interesting jobs? I had one noble whose rival had been told by a fortune teller that her death would come on feathered wings. The noble sent us after the rival. Not assassination, legal and everything, but we had to wear feathers. We sewed them into shirts over our armor. You should have seen the chief all feathered up like the cock of the walk. Ended up retreating after all that. The rival choked to death a year later on a chicken bone. Oh. Spooky. We'll talk later. No, no, we will talk now. Now. Krem. Krem, don't do this to me. Krem, please. What is this? I've been rejected. Krem, no. like this buddy how could you he says no i don't want to talk to you no more i am heartbroken i am devastated krem how could you do this in the next episode i will keep crying over the fact that krem does not want to speak to me anymore but until then please remember to like if you enjoyed leave a comment below and if you wanted to subscribe, it would be very much appreciated. I've been Callista. Thanks for watching and see you in the next episode. Magic exists to serve man and never to rule over him. Foul and corrupt are they who have taken his gift and turned it against his